Hello and welcome to Tech Tool India. Today I am going to explain you about a tech admin template which is made by Tech Tool India. We often use an admin panel for most of our project and the very common thing which we use in an admin panel is like user management and roles and permissions. So I thought why not make an admin template which everyone can use. It's very simple. We use Bootstrap as a design so it, it would be mobile responsive as well and it's lightweight. You can use this template in any of your project. It is uploaded on the GitHub. So today I'm going to explain you how you can clone this repository and use it in any of your upcoming projects on the Laravel 8. So if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe this channel. So without wasting any time, let's get started on the repository. So we have this repository called Tech Tool Laravel Admin on the GitHub. It is an open source repository. I will put this repository link in the description. You can find out from there. So I'm just going to explain you quickly what this particular admin template includes in the repository. So right now it has a like mobile responsive bootstrap for design. It has the user management with roles. It has role management, permissions management, access control list and it is based on the Laravel 8. So today I'm going to explain you about installation step, how you can install this repository on your local machine and use it. So let's clone it by the given command here. I'm just copying this command. I already made this folder. I'm just pasting this command. As you see, the project has been cloned into this repository. So what is the next step? Next step is go to this repository, copy this command, paste it here. I am on the repository now. What next? I need to install all the composer dependency. So I will install all the composer. Install. It will install all the composer dependency of the project. As you can see, it's successfully installed. What next? What we have? We need to run the npm install and npm run dev. So I'm just going to run each command individually. npm install. So it is going to install all the npm package dependencies. While it's taking time to install, I can look like what will be the next step. So you know, in order to create the level application we need to configure our environment file so as you can see the npm installation is done the next is npm run dev so this will just update compile all the javascript and css this is successfully done next we need to create a env file for that we need to run cp we are just copying this example file into new environment file this is done so let's open this project into visual studio code and see if we have all the files there or not so we have opened this project in visual studio code and as you see we have now dot env file so we can configure this env file as you see, this application key is missing. For that, you need to run a command. I'm just running the command inside this Visual Studio. So the command would be php artisan key generate. As soon as you run this command, let me not save this and open the .env file, you see this, your application key is set. Now I can save this application name. And on your local, you can update your uh, local environment URL, but I'm going to use Valet. I'm using Mac OS, so Mac Laravel provides a local in development environment called Valet. So by using that, you can configure your machine and use this uh, Laravel application on a local domain. So for that, I need, I'm going to do 
I'm just running a command valet link and call it tech admin and I'm just passing this to a secure so that it will run on the HTTPS that's it I am entering my password as you see it will ask for permission to change some settings So it is configuring the domain locally and it's done. Let's copy this URL, put it on the browser. Let's see what we see. Cool. As you can see, we have already opened our login page. Cool. That's great stuff. Let's go ahead and update the environment file with the same domain which we have copied over the HTTPS and save this on the MySQL level. I am going to create a database called tech admin. My username is root, but there is no password, so I'm just saving this data. Now let's go ahead and create a database into SQL Pro. So I'm just using SQL Pro as a local database client. I'm connecting this. Here I'm going to add a database called Tech Admin. Just add this. You have the database now. We have already copied this. We have generated the application key. Next, I, we have updated all the database credential in the .env file. Next thing is we need to update all the migration and seed the default data. I am just going ahead and running this command. As you see, we have migrated all the table. We have seeded all the data. Let's see what is the next step go ahead and use this as your login credential let's see if this is working or not let me refresh this page i'm just entering the credential from this page cool as you see i am able to log in into admin panel it has user list you can add a new user you can see two roles admin and users you can update roles from here you can add new role you can update the roles you have permission list of permission you have pagination you have data table on this let's open this you have a profile you can change the password, you can update your profile. Isn't it cool? I think it's very helpful for anyone who is going to use admin panel for their Laravel application. It's a pre-built, it will save a lot of time. Just clone this repository, use in your project. And if you found this as a helpful for your project, please do subscribe on YouTube. Please do rate this repository on the github give your stars on here on the github if you face any issue list down your problems on the comment section below do subscribe our channel for further videos stay tuned keep learning thank you for watching